There's a really, really cool feature called Doodle that lets you write annotations right inside of your viewport. Very handy for working with teams of people. Or when you want to, let's say, give a student some instruction as to how they can improve their models. So if I go to the Tools menu, I can see this little Doodle category. I'm going to go ahead and tear this off by hitting this little guy here. And now I have the menu floating. We have the ability to use Doodle Paint and Doodle Eraser. <laughs> Just a bunch of fun and, and fun to say all together. So let's see what it does. I'll move this guy over a little bit. You see that my icon changes when I have Doodle Paint selected. All right. I hovered over the robot. I modeled this little Android robot because I love uh, the Android platform. And I have this little guy on my desk, actually. And when I come over here to the attributes, I can change the color of the pen that I'm going to draw with. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a bright Android green, for example, and you see the color represented here. And I can just go ahead and draw an arrow and write notes like fix arm. Now you'll notice something very curious happen inside of our power slider. We have a keyframe here, a little green keyframe. Now our doodle paint note is actually associated with this particular keyframe. And if you want to go ahead and write additional notes, you simply go to your objects manager and choose the doodle paint in your list here. And if you look down under the object properties, we can write a little message here. So fix the arm man. All right, and I'll go ahead and fix that up a little bit. So we have a message here, all right? Fix the arm, man. And if I scrub through my timeline, that will stay there until I write another message. Let's go ahead and try that. I'll go to frame 10, for example, and I'm going to draw maybe another note, maybe by his feet. Now you might be wondering, why is this one still here? Well, that's because you have the option to manually add a doodle frame or you can have it automatically happen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another note on frame 10. So I'm going to go and scrub to frame 10. I'll go ahead and hit add doodle frame and I can create another frame. Fix feet. Likewise, if I want to, I can go ahead and write a description. Feet man. All right, so if I scrub back to the first frame or I come to my little controls here, my transport controls, I can hit this arrow right here to go to the first frame where it says fix arm. And I hit this guy right here to go to the next one. So if I want to have a presentation or I'm teaching a class, I can tell them what to do or what to fix or what to look for by using these little notes here. And if I want to, I can go to doodle eraser. And I can go to the options in the attributes manager and make the brush pretty big. And I can go ahead and erase and fix my notes. I also have the option to change the quality of the line that we draw. So for example, if I go to my doodle paint here, let's say I draw an arrow or here's the arrow that I have here. And if I go to my options here, you see that if we go to the options category, while we have doodle object selected, we have this size. This is kind of like the resolution of our drawing. So I'll go ahead and just bump this up to 800. I'll tab over and hit 800 again, and I'll tab again to accept that. So when I draw another arrow, it's much finer and has a higher resolution. So you can write finer notes. Like so. I can clear a frame by hitting this. I can remove a doodle frame, which gets rid of the one I was on. It brings me back to my first one. I can use the doodle eraser and the doodle paint to create more frames. All right. I also have one more option, by the way. If I don't want to manually add a doodle frame, I can auto add the frames here. I'll hit auto frames. I'll go back to frame 10. I'll write. I'll go to another frame. I'll write again. And now they both go away. Frame 30, another arrow. And as I cycle through them, they appear automatically. So if you want to add your own frames, just go ahead and choose the add auto frames option. So once again, that is a look at doodle paint that you'll find under the tools menu under the doodle category.